easy messages, messages that can help you be able to command your role with such precision you can even put a date on it. And today I am with Shauna Trejo Elledge and she is a darling friend of mine. <laughs> I mean, when she walks in the room, it's like she's brought the sunshine in. Everybody feels the same way and you can just see that radiating from her. And, and when people are like in the zone, they literally have this energy, this essence that goes out like five meters. And you start drawing in some pretty wonderful experiences when you let yourself be connected to the divine. And this girl knows how to do that. I met Shauna when she was around four years old. I would gather up all the kids in the family that were still at home. The ones that were not married are, are off on, um, you had already left the nest. And we would go do a lot of wonderful things together. Uh, I'm really grateful to her parents for sharing, for sharing her with me. And, uh, and she, she really has, she's picked up and learned so many wonderful eternal laws on her own. I mean, they, she's really tapped into that source. And so I thought I would share Shauna with you and she's going to uh, ex share some of the experiences that she has experienced with the divine and how much they've helped her and blessed her. Because these things, I mean, I have people ask me all the time, I would like to be able to do what you do. And I'm, I promise you, they're doing the same things for you, but are you so distracted that you're not hearing them? Are you so distracted that you're shut down and not letting that in? So, uh, so Shana, can you tell tell uh, about the uh, the time that you were commanding about moving back to Tucson? Because weren't you in Texas there for a while? Yes, but it was actually a blessing to be in Texas. Oh, absolutely! So. <laughs> everything, everything is our blessing. Really, everything, every experience yes. is for our good. It may not seem so great at the time sometimes. And I'm not saying Texas was not a great experience, but I'm saying for me, I was like, oh, some of the things I was learning about was like, whoo, huh, this is like pretty terrifying, <laughs> literally. And, but then I looked back and saw that, wow, was that ever my blessing. So um, what, what happened when you were in Texas and how, how did it work out for you to come back to Tucson? Well, me and my husband were recently married at the time, and moving to Texas away from family was just what we needed, so it worked out awesome. Um, we were there for about a year and a half, and around the year mark, I knew that it was time for me to go back to school, and that I needed to go back to school here in Arizona, Tucson. Um, so. I let my husband know that I was going back with or without him, hopefully with him. <laughs> uh, and he had told me that he was putting in for transfers almost every month and wasn't getting any anything back. So, so but I'd like to ask you a question really quickly, yeah. and that is the whole thought about the transfers and things like that. Yes. How did you know you would like to go back to school? and that it, Tucson was the place to be? Uh, you know, when we moved, so we lived in Tucson for a little less than a year when we got married, and I thought I did not like Tucson one bit. <laughs> I was ready to leave. <laughs> so when we got called to go to Texas, it was like so exciting, and even though I knew I would have to put school on hold for a while, I was, I was okay with that. And so going to Texas and having that experience there after about a year, I just got the that feeling. It was inside. a feeling. Yeah. There yeah. you go. <laughs> she got the feeling. <laughs> okay, I always tell people, it sounds like a broken record, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit, or you can change your seat though. <laughs> that um, your feelings are your perfect guide. They, are. they will never fail you. They are absolutely so imperative that you that you stay open to the total feelings that you are experiencing because it's going to let you know are you connected? Are you not? Yes. Yeah. So so true. Yeah. And listening to that feeling, I signed up for school for that following semester, and I 
let my husband know that day that I was headed back. <laughs> I still, we still had a couple of months left until school started. So I was like, all right, buddy, like, here we go. And the very next day he gets a call with the option of getting a transfer to Tucson. Kind of funny the how that works. The <laughs> next day. And, and why did that happen? Is because she commanded what she was going to do with her life. She didn't vacillate. She didn't, well, Johnny, Johnny boy, is it okay if we go to Tucson? <laughs> no, she took responsibility for the direction her life was going in, did not wait for somebody outside of her to steer her vehicle of life. She commanded what she'd like to see happen. And because of that, because of her taking action and opening up, everything opened up for her. And it also opened up for her husband because it's what he desired as well. So she wasn't like bossing him around. She wasn't bossing the divine around. But the law is be hot or be cold, but don't be lukewarm. And ask and it's given. And they never say in a few years we'll give back to you. They're ready to give it to you right now. But she was also open to receive. That's a big deal. Exactly. So then what happened? So then my husband ended up coming to Tucson to look for some houses to rent. Um, and I obviously had to stay and keep working. And so he ended up coming down and I started imagining exactly where I would like to rent. And it was funny because he called me up and was like, hey, I've got this house and it's for this much. And he would tell me a little bit about it. I'm like, mm, that's not it. And then <laughs> and again, it was because of the feeling that you had. Yes. You, she could feel it without even seeing it. She could, mm -hmm. she knew, uh-uh, not a good fit. <laughs> yes, and it's funny. I think if I can remember correctly, I remember specifically saying there was red in the house. I didn't know where, but there was red in the house. And I was like, so I kind of held on to that. I didn't say anything to my husband. He ended up going to this next house and he was like, this house looks pretty cool. It's in our price range. Do you want to see it? And I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> so we FaceTimed and the kitchen area was all painted red. That was the only room painted red. I was like, how funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yep, that's uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. And we loved it. It was perfect. And through quantum physics, you actually have the ability to have remote viewing. You can actually, and I know it sounds trippy, but it's really true. The government knows all about this kind of stuff when they do remote viewing to see what's happening in other countries and other governments and stuff like that. But she was actually allowing herself to have remote viewing of what she would like to have. She could feel what she'd like to have, but she could also see what she'd like to have. And she saw the color red. And then when he, and which also, because we can communicate with anything and anyone, she was sending that information to him. And he was also, because he was, he was into it. I mean, he had this motivation, this desire, this oneness with her, and also oneness with the divine himself for what he would love to see happen that would be in their best interest. So together, when you, especially if you combine more than one person that has this oneness of interest. Wow, can you ever command with exactness and have these amazing experiences? And then what happened? Uh, and then we moved. And then they <laughs> and moved. I started school. <laughs> and she started school, Aww. which is pretty wonderful. And we're gonna go and share some more about that schooling experiences. Uh, that she was able to go through. Oh, it's nice how it came together. <laughs> but I'm just sharing with you, everybody, everybody can do this. And that's what I'm about. <clears throat> I just help people remember their eternal powers to command with exactness what they'd love to see happen in their lives. And I'm so grateful for Shauna for, for telling you her experiences because I, it's really important. A lot of people are like, they'll get envious or jealous of me, and I'm like, why? <laughs> you can have this, you can have this, and you can have it rapidly. So, I mean, how long did you have to wait to be able to have these experiences happen for you that you've just talked about? 
It was instantly. When it, I asked for it? That's right. Yeah, yeah. And how hard did you have to work for it? I didn't. I just had to go in the right direction, like signing up for classes, and then everything else fell into place. Follow through with what you'd <laughs> like. So, yes. in other words, Shauna commanded what she'd like to see happen. She got out of the way and let the gods that created Worlds Without End, that adore us, every single one of us, do their part of do, utilizing their godly powers to help all of this be organized and then brought to you. You didn't even go to Tucson <laughs> to have to look for this stuff. Johnny oh, Boy did it for you, so it's like, right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to have this ease. If you're trying to force and make things to happen, you're not connected. That's not how it's supposed to be. Command what you'd like, trust that they heard you the first time. I mean, how many times did you have to ask? Once. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is so much fun. It's the happiest way to live. Okay, so if this is uplifting for you, share it with others and uh, consider subscribing below so you'll always be included in these uplifting experiences and to encourage you to do the same thing. Don't hold back. Be bold. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs>